Welcome back to America's Got Talent. Six acts will go into the finals and they will be one step closer to winning one million dollars. The winner will also headline a show in Las Vegas at the Access at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino on September 26th and 27th. For tickets and information, go to NBC.com slash AGT. Right now, here's a magician who always leaves a couple of the judges hot and bothered, and he leaves the other two speechless. He is Matt Franco. I'm the youngest of three boys, so I have two older brothers, Corey and Ryan. Whenever you used to bring a girl home, you always used to get him to try to do magic tricks for him. Had to impress him. <laughs> Despite the age difference, we've always been pretty close. And it always worked. And it worked a good job. <laughs> <laughs> and the benefits were all yours. Okay. You know, we were outside playing sports and he was in his room doing magic. They thought it was cool. So to get that reassurance from them was great for me. Good trick for the waitress. Right now? No. I want to see if you still got it. See if you can get us a free breakfast. <laughs> we're really proud of him. All the hard work is, uh, is paid off. Matt Franco! The guy has all the goods. He's never disappointed us. You know, he shows us things that we really have never seen before. And he does it in the best way possible. Real salt shaker? Yeah? Absolutely. Ready? Yeah. All right, look. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> I can actually see light at the end of the tunnel. I can actually see that, you know, I don't know, maybe winning this thing is a possibility for me. Thank you. It's great to be back. Hi, Mel. Hi. Do you mind if I borrow your cell phone tonight? Again? <laughs> don't worry. I'm not going to touch it this time. I have a small box. I'm going to lay it right on the table there. Please put your phone on top of the box. Make sure I don't go near that phone. Yeah. Tonight, I want to try something fun with our live audience, but also with everyone at home right now. You can see all the cards are different. In a moment, I'm going to riffle the cards towards the camera, and I want you to try to see one card in the deck. Not this one. We can all see that one. Try to focus on one inside. It's going to be fast. Watch. Did you get one? I hope you did. Remember it. I've developed a new way of shuffling cards. I call it the card cannon. I'll load them inside like this. Let me show you how it works. <sighs> the cards fly up, and if you look all the way up above us to the ceiling, you'll see one card up there. It looks like it might be the king yeah. of hearts. Is that the card you saw? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. That was the card. But let's take things one step further and make it a little more personal. Howard, please slide out one card. All right, here we go. Doesn't matter if I see it. Please turn it over, face up. All right. Sign your name right across the face of it so it's the only one in the world that looks like that. Uh, you can draw a picture, put your gang logo. Oh, oh he's we'll doing it. All right. right, go ahead. I'll take Howard's card so you can see it here. Yep. And I'm going to bury it about halfway down, give or take a few. I'm not counting, I'm guesstimating. That's about half. Howard, push it in. Now, when he does that, it really is gone from the top, Howard. But if I snap, it actually comes back. Oh, my God. You didn't know what to look for, so I'll show you again. Mel, I want you to do it this time. Lift up about half the deck, Mel, if you could. Oh, that's perfect. Put his in, put those on. Now, you snap. Check it out. No way. No. I'm glad you guys like that because sometimes there are septics, I mean skeptics, <laughs> who say I don't really put it in the middle. Heidi, if I were to take Howard's card, I'll even leave it sticking out so you can actually see the name on there. Heidi, I want you to push it all the way into the fan so I can't even touch it. All the way in. Yep. All, now go ahead and snap, Heidi. Check it out. All the way up. Heidi, all the way, all the way up. I love that delayed reaction. Don't worry, everybody does it. You can't see the moment the card jumps up to the top of the deck. Right. And do you know why, Howard? Why? Because all the cards are face down. Can you find your card? Can I find it? There it is, there it correct? Is. Yes. This time, I want to mark your card. That way, I can't switch it on you, because you saw that time I switched it, right? This time, I'm going to bend your card. I'm not going to crease it at this point, but I'll give it a good bend, so you can always follow that lump on there. Watch. I'll do it one last time. You'll see it happen. Up. 
no, no, Look at no. that. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. But wait, my friends, we have to bring this all full circle. It started with Mel B's cell phone in the beginning, and you can see the box is still there. What if I told you when you lift up the phone, the box would be gone? How cool would that be? That would be yeah. Amazing. Are you ready? I am. Do it. Lift up the phone. Lift it up. Yes. It's still there. That would have been good, though. Yes. <laughs> Take the phone away. That's been there the entire time, right in front of you. It doesn't get more close up than that. Inside, fold it up. Not once, but twice, there's a card. Heidi, could you hold out your hand for me? I don't want to touch it. Bring both hands it's, underneath. It's not Look. Laura's card, is it? Unfold is it? it. Is it?